Hey my groovies, time to grow your trees. Hey guys! Hello guys, coming today with an awesome mukbang. I'm gonna be doing a little cooking in front of y'all. Um. Backstory, I gotta go to work today, so um, I go late, so I'm going to eat lunch, and I said, why not, why not cook lunch with my grubbies? So, thank y'all so much for watching my last video. I appreciate y'all. When I see that my views go up a little bit, then that encourages me to record with y'all, so I'm excited. So, let's get to cooking. We ain't got time, because I gotta go to work, all right? So, first thing first, we're gonna turn on this grill thing. And I always just turn it on super high. I don't know if I should do that. Maybe I should keep it on. Let's try 300. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do today, we're cooking grilled ham and cheese sandwiches, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to show y'all the items while that's heating up. Okay. I'm going to spray some of this right here. It's called olive oil spray. Mm-hmm. Onto the thing. And this is the bread that we're going to use right here. And it is called Sola Bread, which is supposed to be some kind of low-carb bread, y'all, which I like it. And then and it comes from Costco. And then we're going to use Monster Cheese, also from Costco, and Uncured Black Ham, also from Costco, okay? So we're going to make us grilled cheese, y'all, and let's eat, okay? So first thing first, like I said, I need to give me a little side table, okay? Because that would really help me out is we're gonna spray this. All this is gonna be spray. I'm gonna try not to cut so much out because I wanna try to edit it and record it and get it up. I mean, record it, edit it, and get it up. Chemicals. Yes. Okay, so we sprayed that. Now the solar bread comes. It's a tiny little bread. See how cute it is? Mm-hmm. And the solar bread, y'all, is 70 calories for one slice. So, you know, you're going to get your calories in. But it's low carb. So, they're little tiny breads. They're cute. So, I'm going to put down four of them where y'all can see them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sola. Sweet and buttery. Two grams of net carbs. Two, four, six, eight. So, I'm going to have... Eight grams in that card if I eat all this, y'all. My restriction is so strong right now, you know, at the moment. <laughs> y'all, and it's a super, super, super simple. I love super simple. Okay. So the cheese, wait a minute. Okay, it's open right here. It's resellable. I love monster cheese, y'all. It melts so good. Okay. I ain't gonna even lie has always been one of my favorites. I had kind of slowed down eating anything other than this little, okay, you get a little too crazy. But lower it down, cause it's getting a little smoky, y'all. Y'all know stuff get to popping, and your girl cannot do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all see that smoke? I don't know, maybe I should lower it down a little bit more. I don't know I should do this, huh? I don't know, I'm confused. Okay. Yeah, you want to be smoky and stuff? Let's do 200. Because, you know, 200 is still high. Yeah, I have never mastered this grill thing. And I've been using this thing for years. Which, this is not the same one I had for years. This is a new one. Since the hurricane, I lost the other one. Probably before the hurricane. All right, so this is the ham. Look at that beautiful ham. Beautiful. Okay, I'm putting two on each one. Okay. And all you want to do is take your top bun or whatever. This is bread, <laughs> and put it on top, okay? There we go. And we're gonna let that grilled cheese grill cheese, okay? Or shall I say it's gonna do what it do? That's what grilled cheese do, it do what it do. Okay, but let me show y'all real quick how already the bread is looking kinda good. Look at that, wait, is it hot? No, but anyway, look at that bread already. <sighs> Yes, and this bread has like a, it says sweet and buttery, and it has like a sweet and buttery taste to it, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, give me a little side table. 
but how has everybody been doing i've been doing good i've been um just working out and not doing much but i thought since we're cooking i would come to y'all with a quick little story time and it's gonna be quick okay but i'm gonna tell y'all about my first experience dating since my husband died okay and tell y'all some things because honey this it's not it's not no um fun thing to be out <laughs> to date you know it's not it's not no fun thing to uh be single i don't know who lied to somebody and said that being single is fun because it's not now i need to turn it up so okay so i um met this guy he dm me and he was from uh around where i'm at and um we started texting and stuff and of course first thing he asked can i have your name in? uh why would you dm me and i was like no i'll do that first so we talked for a while and then and he's younger than me y'all okay i don't know why but these young guys are just crazy about <laughs> yeah gal but anyway long story short so he um dm me and he was like why this ain't cooking y'all and he was like um so I was telling him, I'm not from here. You want to come show me around? So, he, you know, and it was my birthday time. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, you can come and show me around. So I got all dressed out cute and stuff, y'all. Okay. And um, he picked me up and we was riding around and he was showing me all the different places. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say this. So before that, now y'all know it was my birthday uh, week. So I was drinking. Okay. Lord, you don't never want to drink, okay? See, I learned a lot of things, okay? See, when you're in a relationship with somebody for 17 years like I was with my husband, you it's just stuff that you get used to that you just can't do with everybody. You know what I'm saying? This man, I've been with my husband so long. You know what I'm saying? We knew everything about each other. Certain things you can't do when you, especially when you're just getting to know a person because you can't trust nobody. So, we he comes and he picks me up and uh i was like you can bring him by the store so we get to the store this should be my first time so i get out and i get me a white claw okay and and he come in the store and he asked me can he wear the bathroom key at not even offering to pay for my white claw so i was like okay i ain't tripping you know we just met so maybe he just i don't know maybe he just ain't that type of person he young y'all okay so but young or not i don't care you be a gentleman Y'all just looked about 15 times, but I'm going to let it a bit. So, I should remember her sign. So, then after that, we I said, you can show me, like, you know, where everybody hang out. Because I think it was, like, a Saturday night. So, we riding down this strip, and he's showing me all these different people hanging out. They had a big old gigantic club with a lot of people, like, hanging out, going to the club. And it was, like, a big old warehouse something. And then he showed me, like, uh, pool halls and stuff like that. So, we riding, we riding, riding. And then he showed me, he started talking about he don't drink. No, he don't go. I said, well, do you want to stop? He was like, no, he don't go to clubs. And I was like, why? He was like, let me show you. So he was like, like weird. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't see. That's another thing. I should be very cautious because it's dangerous because I really don't know people. Okay. I learned all this, y'all. So he was like, I'm sure. So he rolling in this area. Now, I didn't see my area, but he's from another little town outside of Lafayette. So that's what he's saying right here. So he pulled up to like this empty place and it's a church. And I was like, oh, I say you um check this out i said you um you go to church and stuff and he was like yeah he said i'm also uh uh i think he said he was like a deacon or a minister or something i'm not gonna lie to y'all so i was like oh okay i said oh that is so good because i've been trying to get myself back right in the lord you know and he was like mm-hmm you know what i'm saying and i was like yeah and i was telling him about how i used to be like fully into church before i moved here and everything and how you know i still love jesus and everything and i was telling him when this he was like, yeah, you see, but you see how far it is? So you can't say you don't have a church because so you see how far it is from your house? It's right around the corner. So I was like, yeah, you know. So he was kind of strange, but not really strange. But I was kind of like, okay, maybe, you know, God sent me somebody who knows Jesus. So we ride around by the clubs and stuff and everything. We just riding in circles. And then we talking. And uh, he pulls up at like a, uh, I want to say like a, uh, like a parking lot, but it, they had people out, you know what I'm saying? And we were still talking and everything. So I was like, okay, he's not going to get down, but I don't going to get down either, you know what I'm saying? And as we're talking and stuff, and he, not, he already told me he's a man of God, you know what I'm saying? 
but he reaches over and tries to touch me up my like up i had dressed on and i had my leg crossed y'all that's a non-scale victory too let me talk about this real quick so i was able to get in the car and sit with my leg crossed in the car wow you know what i'm saying non-scale victory if you know what if you know but anyway so he's just like reach up like under my dress or something and i was like <laughs> now i've been drinking so i was like okay <laughs> you know and i'm like with my hand on top of his hand no big deal you know what i'm saying and then he was trying to kiss me here you know what i'm saying so i was like am i down with this or oh, i ain't down with this you know okay because you know i'm grown you know what i'm saying <laughs> if i want to be down with it i can be you know what i'm saying but then it, it was like but hold up you were supposed to be a man of god what's going on you know what i'm saying so that kind of freaked me out so i was like <laughs> you know what i'm saying and I thought I pushed his hand away and I was like, oh, no. You know, and I was like, there's no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, okay, well, oh, uh, well, you know. And then my friend was like, you know, this man's single, but yeah, this man's single, but you grossing me out, okay? And I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, we, you know, I'm ready to go, whatever. Okay, so I'm drinking, so of course, get your girl home, because I might do things that I ain't supposed to, okay? So I finally, he was like, we drove around still, and then he brought me home. That's it. All right, y'all. Let me turn this off. Because we're going to cut these and eat these. All right. Let me show y'all how they came out. Ooh, so pretty. Yes. Okay. So, anyway, long story short, he brings me home. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm in the house. And we pull in my parking lot. And we're talking and stuff. And he tried it again in the parking lot. But I'm like... And I, I mean, I wasn't that mad off, though. <laughs> I ain't going to even lie at the moment. Okay, I wasn't that mad off, but I was a little, I wasn't as thrown off as I was the next day. So, anyway, so I was like, uh, I did kiss him by, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was all right, you know what I'm saying? And then I got the car came house and everything. So, I ended up going to sleep, you know what I'm saying? So, when I woke up, so I was like, like, replaying everything. You ever wake up the next day and you, like, wait, replay everything in your head, in your mind? So now this dude got my location because I sent him my location. Him he knows my phone number, my real phone number, because we talked and texted before he came. And now he knows where I live, but not my apartment number. So I'm like, like, okay. But if I go out to the parking lot or something, then he'd be that. So I was like, I woke up and I was like, okay, this man is crazy. For one, you're supposed to be religious. For two, you're talking about you like a member of the church and you don't go into clubs and you don't drink because you, you can't do that because you know people might see you, but you can be nasty you can want to be do nasty stuff so that to me and i'm telling y'all just how i felt i was like okay you gross you gross y'all got some cucumber to go with it and i got some strawberries okay which i don't know if i'm gonna put it up here because this is too hot i may eat this but i'm gonna cut it in half long story short y'all let me go get a knife all right i'm back anyway so long story short y'all basically I ghosted him the next day. I blocked him on all my social medias. I blocked him on all my in my phone. I deleted all the messages. So hopefully, I delete the location. I did vanish mode. I um, I just blocked him on everything, y'all. So I was like, Lord, please do not let this man come to my house. Now, I told him where I worked, y'all. Okay. Now, I think a day. So the next day, I was like feeling like kind of like worried, but not too worried, but kind of like grossed out and like. I was like, this dating thing is not for me. Back to what I just said. I showed him where I worked. I mean, I told him where I worked, okay? And there's only one there out here where I work. So, I'm going to tell y'all. This is the funny. This is the craziest thing. So, let's give God some glory. Dear Lord, in my name is Jesus, come with me with your blood, Lord, that I may enjoy this food, Lord. In my name is Jesus, I ask you, Lord, to keep me, Lord, and bless all of you with the fruits of the Spirit. Amen. So, of course, oh, it's getting hot. So, um, I told him where I worked. So, the first day after, um, you know, after all that craziness, I was like, I was watching my, as I go out in my parking lot to get my car, I was watching around. I kind of couldn't remember his car, but you know, I got a bad memory, y'all. But I remember what he looked like. So, you know, <laughs> that's so crazy. But this date thing is not for the weak of heart, okay? But it also showed me y'all something. And I'm gonna tell y'all the whole thing at the end of all this. Let's bite. Let me bite this. Is it hot? Mm, it ain't that hot. Mmm. So good. So anyway, 
Second day I came out, I was watching around. I just kept watching around just in case he was trying to sneak in the parking lot because he couldn't get in touch with me. And he never came with nothing that I knew of unless he's crazy. But y'all, the fourth day. So I'm at work, working, and I see, now I know this is him in the line. And we have long lines. I'm a cashier. And then the next person got called. And when I seen him get closer, I was like, oh my God. Y'all, this food was in the line at my job. I walked away from the register and, went, register and went into the closet. And so he ended up going to the, ne the next register. So when I was in the closet, I noticed he kept on like watching, like looking at my face. I guess trying to see if I was going to remember him or not, or if I didn't remember him. And he was just staring at me. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I was playing it off, trying to hide, playing it off. The girl finished ringing him up. And he was looking like, 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 like sad or mad or something. And I was like, oh, please don't let this be you know. He don't know I'm saying nothing crazy, please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm at work. And then after that, the guy just went ahead and just got his stuff and he walked out. And I ain't never seen him come back since, y'all. But he came to my job and I was like, and I played like I didn't know him. <laughs> my neighbor. Mm. That was the scariest, but fans experience. Mm, mm. Celebrate, y'all, to say this is, like, my first time, like, I don't know, and it'll be my last. So, I was telling my son, I was like, I'm just not ready. I'm not ready. No. Mmm. This tire is good. I look how fresh. Mmm. So, I was telling my son, I'm just not ready. <sighs> It's not for me right now. I'm going to chill out. <laughs> mm. And just chill by myself. And I cried and cried because it was like the first time I went out with somebody. And, you know, since my husband died. And it's, it's been almost a year, y'all. But I don't want to cry now. <laughs> but I'm not ready. Mmm. Mmm. And I don't know when I'll be ready, but it's okay. Because, you know, that's part of life. You have to go on. You have to go on. But, honey. I'm going to do it in God's timing. <laughs> because my timing does not work. My discernment has left the building. Y'all, in the last video, I didn't even talk at all. I was on them drops, y'all. And they good for my anxiety, but I be a little bit wacko. <laughs> but I love it. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's probably good. Like, I'm saying this one to work. <laughs> I usually don't like to eat at work. Because I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm burning more calories. Because I really don't be hungry. But, anyway, I just don't know if this dating thing will ever be for me. And I'm not rushing it. That was rushing it. But really, it was my birthday, and I didn't want to just stay at home because I don't know anybody out here. And I was talking to him, so I was like, come show me around. And he was willing to come. But he never told me while we was texting or talking that he was a minister and he was a person in church or none of that. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as we get together, you want to tell me this, but you still want to be nasty? What? Why? Who? Why? It's like nothing but a cucumber, y'all. <laughs> and why do that? <sighs> I don't understand. But you know what? Y'all send me some advice. Leave me a comment down below telling me have, for one have y'all ever ate that solar bread and do you like it y'all gotta learn to look at the camera because i i noticed in my other video i was looking at me more than anything and i couldn't it just looked weird like i was cock out or something mm. Mm, these go up i love strawberries i don't like the little booty part but i love them mm. <laughs> mm.
Ooh, excuse me. So, for me, dating is a no. I just had a guy DM me yesterday. You know, he seemed so sweet. And he's from Houston. And I told him, I said, he said, can we get to know each other? And I told him, no, because I'm still mourning my husband who passed away. And if he follow, if he on Instagram, he know my that my husband passed because I put it all over that. So, I told him, no, I'm still mourning my husband and I don't want to meet nobody else right now. This is the other half, y'all. Mm -hmm. See how it came out? So good. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, wouldn't you feel, you know, that you're strong enough and stuff? He was so sweet. And he was like, you know, he said, you know, just DM. He said, inbox me. We can have a conversation. No, he said, when, you, when, when it's convenient for you. He said, just something. Basically saying, hit him up and we can have a conversation. And I said, okay. And I gave it a heart. But that's about it. And he's not the only one. I wonder why. I've never had... I've never had so much communications, y'all. So, as I have, as I have now, and I know I lost weight. I don't know, and I don't want to say that because I always feel like I was pretty, like really, really cute before. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm confused. I mean, the weight couldn't have done all that, but it could. Mm -hmm. Y'all tell me and be honest. Was I ugly before? <laughs> I really want to know. Because, I don't know, attention will make you feel some type of way. And I'm not feeling, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it at all. Y'all, yeah, I'm full. I ain't going to lie. And I don't want to be too full because I got to go to work, y'all. But I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to let my uh, weight loss have me feeling like I'm all that. Even though I, I love looking at my own self. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, I'm not going to do it. One more bite, okay? Because I am full. Mm. Y'all going to make this ham and cheese, honey. If y'all like these cooking videos where I cook in front of y'all, leave me a comment down below. And we'll do more of these, okay? Y'all, love y'all so much. I have to go to work. But I want to come and just share this story time with y'all. And uh, tell y'all about this crazy dude. Now, I haven't seen him back in my job, and he might never come. But he might come and say, hey, you remember me? I'm going to be like, uh-uh. <laughs> no? Who are you? You know? Blame it on the alcohol, baby, because that's what I'm going to do. Mm. Okay, y'all, I'm going to continue to eat. I love y'all so much. Always remember to dab on your haters and spark on them. And I will see y'all when. The next time it's time to grow. Uh, uh.